The clear liquid was injected into the palm, and a coolness penetrated into the bone marrow, but soon the coolness turned into a stinging and burning sensation. Chang Shao circulates his soul power and enters his left hand along the three yin and three yang meridians of his hand, mediating the fusion of the attached soul bone and his own bones. The pain eased slightly, and the entire left hand became transparent. The muscles and blood vessels were clearly visible, especially the bones wrapped in liquid from the crystal bear's left metacarpal bone, which were as bright as diamonds. A heartbreaking itching feeling gradually climbed up from his left hand, making Cheng Xiao frown and start to feel restless. Boom. Suddenly, the strange itch suddenly turned into an extremely strong burning sensation, as if his entire left hand had been put into magma and burned, and the unspeakable pain began to impact Cheng Xiao's will. Well, Chang Xiao groaned, holding his breath and adjusting his condition. The absorption of soul bones is different from that of soul rings. The age of soul rings is very important, but the quality of soul bones is more important. If the quality of the soul beast is very high, absorbing its soul ring may be just right, but if you fuse its soul bone, it will fail due to its extremely high quality. This is the difference between soul rings and soul bones. The crystal bear cannot compare to the dark gold terror claw bear but it is still considered extraordinary, and the quality of its soul bone is naturally not bad. And the age of the crystal bear has already touched Chang Xiao's upper limit, so there is no doubt about the danger of its soul bone. Therefore, the crystal bear's left metacarpal bone will cause a measurable pain, which Chang Xiao had expected. Fortunately, the crystal bear's shadow has been awakened before, so there will be no residual soul left in its soul bones and soul rings, so there will be no backlash during the absorption process. As long as you get through the pain of replacing the bones, nothing can go wrong. The hot feeling raged crazily, as if it had turned into countless blades and scraped against his arm. Puff puff. The skin of the entire left arm began to crack, as if blood bags were bursting, and blood sprayed from the cracks. In just a moment, his left arm was soaked with blood, and the bloody appearance was terrifying. The pain caused by the attached soul bone made Chang Xiao soaked in sweat. Chang Xiao's body temperature reached an alarming level and the sweat evaporated and turned into a light mist, wrapping it around him. Chang Xiao's body twitched from time to time, and his young body swayed, as if he would fall down the next moment, but he always stabilized his body at the moment when he was most likely to fall. Chang Xiao's mental strength is different from ordinary people, and he suffered a painful torture when the Wuhun was initially released, so his resistance is naturally much higher. With Chang Xiao's terrifying perseverance, he finally withstood what seemed like pain without end. Time passed bit by bit, and the crystal-like liquid still wrapped the bones of Chang Xiao's left hand, seemingly unchanged. But if you look carefully, you can find that the fluctuation of the liquid is gradually becoming stiffer. Obviously, the initial difficulties have been overcome and now we are entering the integration and solidification period. Chang Xiao's frown gradually relaxed, and the burning feeling slowly subsided. The Tai Chi soul power is constantly operating under Chang Xiao's urging. The two soul powers, one soft and the other strong are constantly beating the fused bones. The two completely opposite forces are like repeatedly folding a steel wire. Because of the tempering of the soul power, the progress of refining and fusion has been accelerated a lot. Click. With a crisp sound, the increasingly rigid liquid finally solidified, turning the entire left hand's bones into a diamond-like transparent color. Paw, paw, paw. A series of explosions came from the whole arm. The next moment, Chang Xiao suddenly opened his eyes, with a relaxed smile on his face. It's done. Chang Xiao stood up and raised his left arm. He saw that his entire left hand was transparent, as if it were made of diamond, and the sharp edged mirror reflected the bright rainbow light. The five fingers became more slender, with sharp transparent claws covering them, like five diamond blades, which looked extremely gorgeous under the sunlight. Hiss, Chang Xiao waved his left hand, and the air suddenly emitted a hissing cry. It was obvious that his cutting ability was extremely outstanding. Click. Chang Xiao narrowed his eyes and tried it on the stone on the side again. His palm slashed hard, and his sharp claws immediately made several ferocious claw marks on the stone. It seems that the crystal bear's tearing ability is still a little weak. With a thought in Chang Xiao's mind, he urged soul power to pour into his left palm, and slapped it on a giant tree that needed two people to surround him. Soul power was poured into the giant tree, and the giant tree only trembled slightly. But in the next moment, a layer of crystals appeared where Chang Xiao struck. The crystals extended at an extremely fast speed, and soon the entire giant tree all turned into crystals. The leaves also turn into crystals, and the lines on the leaf veins are clearly visible under the refraction of the sun looking up. The exquisite texture of the crystal giant tree strikes your heart, like an eternal work of art, which is fascinating. 
Sure enough, he has the crystallization ability of a crystal bear. Chang Xiao's eyes lit up. Although this ability is not as good as ultimate gold and ultimate ice, the effect is not bad at all. As long as the soul power is activated, living things can be turned into crystals. Unless those with strong soul power can resist it at all. As his mind turned, the bright palm began to recover. The ice crystal-like texture gradually faded away, and the sharp claws were retracted. The entire left hand did not look much different. Ha ha ha, it's worth it, Chang Xiao laughed. It's not a waste to work so hard like before. It's time to go back after hunting a soul beast and taking the soul ring. Chang Xiao was satisfied and ready to leave here. Um? Suddenly, as I sensed it, a group of black shadows broke into the shadow realm. These black shadows were not soul beasts, but humans. It's just that they are very strange. Chang Xiao has never met them. His expression changed several times. Chang Xiao's eyes flickered a few times, and then he removed the shadow soul beasts guarding the surrounding area. It is not appropriate to expose the matter of the shadow soul beast to others for the time being. Unless your life is in danger, it is better to hide it. If not, if it arouses the curiosity of any titled Duluo, then the initiative will not be in his hands. The current shadow army of three or two big cats and kittens is not enough for the titled Duluo to fill his teeth. When his shadow army is large enough to hold down a strong man, this ability can be used unscrupulously in front of others. After taking back the shadow soul beast, Chang Xiao walked out of the hiding place, but the group of people was extremely fast and blocked Chang Xiao in place before Chang Xiao could get around them. Dad, I said don't take her, don't take her, but you won't listen. You can just follow us, but you want to wander around alone and attract a crazy bear. Isn't this a hindrance? A delicate voice of complaint reached Chang Xiao's ears from far away. Chang Xiao had no time to hide. When he raised his head, the group of people were already not far away. Chang Xiao raised his head and saw that the group of people were approaching at an extremely fast speed. In a few blinks, they were in front of Chang Xiao, giving Chang Xiao no chance to hide. Agile attack system. Chang Xiao was a little surprised at how fast it was. His shadow domain had a radius of 100 meters, and within a few breaths from when he withdrew to when he came out, this group of people had already arrived. Their speed was definitely not that of ordinary soul masters, they were either strong or agile attack types. But there are two little girls in this group of people, who are obviously not strong, so they can only be from the agility attack system. Okay, she is your sister. She will help you get the soul ring this time and let her observe. Dot huh? Is there anyone? Stop. The leader noticed Chang Xiao's presence and immediately raised his hand to stop himself. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Everyone stopped one after another, their eyes falling on Chang Xiao with vigilance. This is the Star Forest. Not only must we be wary of sudden attacks by spirit beasts, we must also be careful of sneak attacks from strange spirit masters. Every soul master will be taught this way by his seniors before entering the Star Do Forest. They are no exception. Although Chang Xiao looks about the same age as the second lady, it is impossible for such a young child to enter the star forest alone. He must be cared for by an elder. Now that the other party has not shown up, how could they not be wary? While they were wary of Chang Xiao, Chang Xiao was also sizing them up. The leader was a middle-aged man. His clothes were quite luxurious and had gold patterns on them. He was obviously of high status. He had his hands behind his back and was not defensive, but his aura was quite astonishing. He must have been. He has strong self-sustainability and is not worried about surprises such as sneak attacks. Standing next to the man were two girls, both dressed similarly. One of the girls was quite tall, while the other was much shorter. They looked half a head shorter than Chang Xiao. They should be sisters. Chang Xiao's eyes stayed on the two of them for a little longer, but he couldn't estimate their age because their figures were really hot, and the curvature of the front and back were quite eye-catching. Especially the tall girl with her arms crossed, and the two wisps of white greasy seemed to be about to overflow under the squeeze of her arms. Before Chang Xiao could move his eyes to look at the others, the tall girl seemed to feel Chang Xiao's vague gaze, and said with a cold face, What are you looking at? If you look at me again, I'll dig out your eyeballs. Chang Xiao narrowed his eyes, but he wasn't angry. After all, his look just now was indeed a bit rude. What's more, the opponent has a large number of people and is in a place like the Stardo Forest where no one buries the dead. If they can't afford it, they can't afford it. I'm really sorry, I was rude. Chang Xiao cupped his hands, lowered his eyes, and stopped prying. HMPH. The girl didn't embarrass him when she saw this. She snorted coldly and stopped talking. She must also know that it is not a good place for conflict, especially when the other party's elders do not show up. This little brother is also hiding here? Is your elder in there? The leading man looked at Chang Xiao with sharp eyes. He paused for a moment on Chang Xiao's bloody left arm. 
but his eyes were more focused on the hiding place behind Chang Shao. Chang Shao cupped his hands to show humility. I've met my seniors. My elders have gone out to explore the way. Please let me follow you later. If you want to use this place, you can do it yourself. I will step aside now. Chang Shao's face didn't even turn red due to the nonsense he was making. He couldn't guarantee the other person's character because of the deep hatred in his heart, so he could only fabricate an elder to make the other person more fearful. Exploring the path? The man whispered, his eyes lingering on the natural hiding place made of huge rocks behind Chang Shao. Perhaps he was worried that someone was hiding inside, or perhaps he was doubting the authenticity of Chang Shao's words. Senior, if nothing happens, Junior will go ahead and not disturb everyone's rest. Chang Shao slowly walked around a few people. Seeing this, the other people gave way and walked towards the hiding place. I'm so exhausted. Phew, you guys hurry up and arrange it. The tall girl rushed in first. Zuyin. Stop. The man shouted to stop her. Did you forget what I warned you before going out? HMPH. Hurry up. The tall girl curled her lips and paused. Then the rest of the people rushed over and began to explore and eliminate danger. Bamboo Cloud. Chang Shao who had just passed by everyone, paused for a moment, and suddenly thought of two hot sisters, could it be them? Doesn't that mean that the shorter one just now was Zhu Zhu Qing? I had just focused my attention on her sister and didn't take a few more looks. Chang Xiao resisted the urge to look back. It's not a good time to stay here for a long time. Leave quickly. The man put his hands behind his back, but began to look around. Suddenly, his eyes stopped on a giant crystal tree not far from the hiding place. The giant tree was so tall that it seemed like he could not see the top when he raised his head, reflecting the bright rainbow light. Um? Many thoughts flashed through him almost in an instant. The man suddenly turned around and shouted at Chang Xiao's back as he hurried out, Stop! Stand up, you big-headed idiot! Chang Xiao couldn't help but curse secretly, he wasn't stupid, so he just stood up as he said. As if there was a dire claw bear behind him, Chang Xiao buried his head and rushed forward without looking back at all. Snort! However, what was behind him was not a spirit beast, but it was not as clumsy as a dire claw bear. The man snorted coldly, and eight spirit rings immediately rose from his feet, two yellow, two purple and four black. It was actually a contra. Then a purple soul ring lit up, and an identical clone immediately appeared on the man's body, turning into an afterimage and chasing after Chang Xiao. Grass. Feeling the rapid sound of breaking wind behind him, Chang Xiao couldn't help but curse. He was not an agility attack type soul master. No matter how hard he trained on weekdays, his speed still had a limit. But the man behind him was an agility attack fighting soul master. With the blessing of martial souls, his speed was several times faster than him. In an instant, the figure had chased behind Chang Xiao and grabbed the back of Chang Xiao's neck. The first soul skill soul binding touch. Just when Chang Xiao was about to be caught, the shadow under the man's feet seemed to come alive, surging out and turning into several tentacles, which directly tore off the man's outstretched arm. The remaining tentacles tied the man's legs, holding it firmly in place. Huh? The man immediately discovered Chang Xiao's soul ring and let out a sound of surprise. The next moment, the man's body disappeared in a burst of laughter. Good boy. The soul binding touch only trapped him for a moment before being shattered by a strong force. Fortunately, it was blocked a little. Chang Xiao took the opportunity to escape from the grasp behind him, rolled on the spot, jumped forward, and prepared to escape with your head buried. But when he saw the front clearly, Chang Xiao stopped helplessly. Why didn't you run away? The man raised his eyebrows, with a trace of amusement on his cheeks. Senior is joking. Seeing clearly the eight soul rings beating under the opponent's feet, Chang Xiao knew that it would be difficult to escape. Who could outrun an eight ring agility attack soul du luo? Anyway, he doesn't have the ability. Chang Xiao shrugged, then raised his hands and said, Senior, what are you doing? My elder is still waiting for me. If something happens, why don't you talk to me after I catch up with you? What should a level 20 soul master do when he encounters a level 80 soul du luo? What can be done? Just lie down. Chang Xiao didn't think that his current strength could defeat a contra, so he might as well give up resistance. Seeing that Chang Xiao gave up his struggle, the man ducked to Chang Xiao's side and grabbed Chang Xiao's collar. Chang Xiao's eyes flashed before he was thrown in front of the two girls. I have something to ask you. Why are you running? The man smiled half-heartedly. Ha, ha ha. Senior is really good at joking. Chang Xiao squatted down on his butt, grinned, stood up, patted his butt, and said awkwardly, You are going to take me down if you don't agree with me, can I not run away? Well? My elders have said that no one in the star forest can be trusted. The man was non-committal. The young man in front of him was right. He thought he was not a bad person, 
but since they were strangers to each other, it was normal for people to be a little defensive. Let me ask you, how long have you been hiding here? The man asked. Why ask this? Chang Xiao couldn't figure out the other party's purpose for a moment, so he said randomly, it won't take more than half a day. Half a day? The man's eyes gradually became a little subtle. He raised his hand and pointed at the giant crystal tree in the distance that soared into the sky. Then this tree was like this when you came here? Damn it. Chang Xiao's heart skipped a beat. How should she answer? Are you just following the other person's words and it's like this when he comes? No. You can't blame it on Crystal Bear, right? The Crystal Bear's ability to crystallize lasts for about one day. You can roughly calculate it by waiting until the next day. What's more, there are no traces of soul beast activities nearby. If there are soul beasts here, how can I be safe hiding here before? There are holes everywhere. Tell the truth? Do you think you have too many hands? He wasn't even sure whether the external soul bone was completely fused. If it was only absorbed initially like Tang San, he could cut off his hand and snatch it away. Externally attached soul bones are more precious than the other six soul bones. The soul master's desire for externally attached soul bones is only slightly less than a hundred thousand year soul ring, and Contra is no exception. Even if the other party is not interested, doesn't he still have two daughters? The left metacarpal bone matches the netherworld thorn, and it looks like a perfect match just thinking about it. It's not okay to tell lies, but it's even more dangerous to tell the truth. In the flash of lightning, Chang Xiao's mind was spinning wildly. He suddenly thought of the seven people he had killed and almost blurted out. No, this was done by my elders. Elder? The man raised his eyebrows. We encountered a 3,000-year-old crystal bear before. After the elders killed it, they got a right arm bone. Chang Xiao's thoughts turned sharply and he raised his left hand which was full of blood. Then suddenly a dreadclaw bear rushed out and attacked us. The pebble shot injured me. As a last resort, my elders took me to hide here. Healing. Then my seventh uncle absorbed the right arm bone and when he tried the soul bone skill, he crystallized this tree. Right arm bone. The man looked at Chang Xiao's left hand and rubbed his chin. He always felt that he had missed something. Where is your elder? Why are you left here alone? My elder said that the dreadclaw bear was crazy, and they went to find out the truth. Let me hide here. Zhu Zuyan sneered. That's not what you said just now. Didn't you take the first step and let you follow? Now it turns into letting you hide here? Zhu Zuqing folded his forearms and leaned against a nearby tree with a cold face. He looked at Chang Xiao coldly and said nothing, like an ice sculpture without any warmth. Chang Xiao glanced at the man, then swept his eyes over the two sisters and others, and then murmured in a low voice. Isn't it because you have a large number of people? I'm just a soul master, how dare I compete with you for space? That's right. The man pondered for a moment, but still did not dispel his doubts, and then said, Just stay here, nothing will happen. You are just a soul master. It is not safe to go out alone. It seems that we are overbearing. Wait for your elders to come back to pick you up. Leave again. Are you truly kind, or do you want to wait for the elder to come back and take the right arm bone? Chang Xiao wasn't sure, so he had to be on guard against others. But there was no room for Chang Xiao to refuse. If he really showed that he was in a hurry to leave, he might immediately betray him. A little soul master rushes into the dangerous forest, but everything seems wrong. Thank you, senior. After making many mistakes, Chang Xiao chose to lie down and do as he pleased. Dad, you are showing kindness again. Zhu Zuyan curled his lips and muttered. The man glared at Zhu Zuyan slightly reproachfully but also fondly. Okay, okay. Zhu Zuyan tilted his head, stretched, and his two wisps of crisp white made him look even more fierce. Then he pointed to the opposite side and said, This is ours, that's your place, don't come over here if you have nothing to do. Chang Xiao shrugged and stayed away from them, resting aside. Only then did he have time to pay more attention to Zhu Zuqing, who had been silent. Compared with Zhu Zuyan, Zhu Zuqing is much shorter, but his stature is not much inferior. His temperament is colder, with long black hair hanging around his shoulders and cold white skin, adding a bit of coldness. She always stayed alone, never talked or showed the slightest emotion, and her frosty look was enough to make anyone who wanted to get close to her stay away. Is this the one who practices the hardest among the Shrek's seven monsters? In the original work, this girl was born with seven levels of soul power, but she reached level 27 when she entered Shrek more than five years later. Her cultivation was not unpleasant. Without some perseverance, it would be difficult to achieve this level of cultivation speed. It's a pity that no matter how hard you practice, you can't catch up with her sister. Zhu Zuyan has practiced seven years more than her and is probably at level 40 now. The first mover advantage cannot be changed by hard work. Chang Xiao was thinking about it, when suddenly, Zhu Zuqing seemed to feel something, turned his head, and his eyes immediately met Chang Xiao's. 
still as cold as ever, with his eyes never moving away. Zhu Zuqing looked directly at Chang Xiao, but did not question him. Chang Xiao was defeated, the corner of his mouth twitched, showing a hint of apology, and then his eyes wandered away. Time passed by bit by bit. Chang Xiao went through what had just happened many times in his mind, and realized that there were no obvious loopholes in his words. Lies can be easily exposed, but half-truths can deceive people. Those words of his should stick around for a while. It's just that the further time goes by, the greater the possibility of problems. After all, he had no so-called elder, so how could he wait until someone came back to pick him up? After thinking for a long time, Cheng Xiao gradually showed an anxious and impatient look, looking outside from time to time. Zhu Mo, the father of the Zhu sisters, has been observing Cheng Xiao's every move. When Cheng Xiao showed anxiety, he would be thoughtful, raise the corners of his mouth, and start to take a nap with his eyes closed. When night fell, the bonfire was set up. The Zhu family set up several tents, and people took turns keeping watch. Cheng Xiao also set up the tents, but he looked anxious and couldn't fall asleep. Until late at night, Cheng Xiao took this opportunity to say hello to the night watchman and tentatively walked outside. His face was gloomy and he was hesitating whether to take the opportunity to escape. Now it was just right. Do you want to escape? Suddenly, a cold voice like an ice fountain sounded from behind. Cheng Xiao was so startled that he was almost scared out of his wits. He suddenly turned around and saw Zhu Zuqing standing not far behind him, his eyes cold. Hey, what are you doing? Do you know that people are scary, scary to death? You almost scared me out of my mind. Especially since I have so many dirty thoughts in my heart. Chang Xiao was furious, but also a little lucky. Fortunately, he had just hesitated for a while, otherwise the girl would have exposed herself before she even revealed her secrets by yelling. I'll just come out and relieve myself. Why are you running away? I didn't do anything, so why should I run away? Zhu Zuqing did not respond and tilted his head, as if thinking about the authenticity of Chang Xiao's words. Seeing that Zhu Zuqing didn't follow up, Chang Xiao breathed a sigh of relief, and then feigned anger. What? Why are you still doing this? Do you still want to see it? When Zhu Zuqing heard this, he immediately turned around and went back. Seeing this, Chang Xiao wiped the beads of sweat on his forehead and actually peed, but he didn't dare to think about escaping anymore. After being frightened for a while, his mind became extremely clear. Even if he ran away, he wouldn't be able to escape very far. A bunch of agility and attack type soul masters would chase him back even if he ran for a quarter of an hour. It seemed like they were letting him go freely, but there weren't really many choices he could make. Chang Xiao got back into the tent. Early the next morning, Chang Xiao put away the tent early. After Zhu Mo came out, he came to him and respectfully raised his hands and said, Thank you for your protection yesterday. My elder has not returned all day. I'm afraid something happened. I can't sit still here anymore and want to go find them, so I came here to say goodbye to my seniors. Zhu Mo twisted his slightly stiff neck and said, Just in time, we are also preparing to leave. It is not safe for you alone, so why not go all the way? It would be better if you can meet your elders in the forest. If not, wait for us to hunt them. After arriving at the soul beast, I will take you out. Chang Xiao's expression froze, so kind. If he were not in the star forest, Cheng Xiao would have doubted whether he had traveled through time again and arrived in a beautiful world of mutual help. Yes. Thank you, senior. Of course Zhu Mo would not be so kind, but only he himself knows what he is thinking. After everyone packed up, they walked towards the mixed area of the Star Forest. Along the way, Zhu Mo did not go on a rampage relying on the strength of Soul Du Luo. Instead, he was quite careful and cautiously avoided various soul beasts. Logically speaking, with his strength, this is not necessary. Unless a soul beast is more than 80,000 years old, it will be difficult to pose a great threat to him. Zhu Mo pointed as he walked, teaching his two daughters by words and deeds, telling them some things they needed to pay attention to when entering the Star Do Forest. If you are not strong enough, you must be careful. Before you meet the target, hide if you can, and don't kill the soul beasts along the way. If the blood aura becomes stronger, it is easy to provoke more powerful soul beasts. There is really no way out. Hide, if you are targeted by the soul beast, it will not be too late to kill you. Zhu Mo warned his two daughters. I know, dad. Zhu Zuyan nodded, but judging from her slightly frivolous tone, it was obvious that he didn't take it to heart. Zhu Zuqing was still so deserted, just nodding silently and not saying anything. Chang Xiao silently watched the scene of a loving father and a filial daughter. His expression moved and fell on Zhu Zuqing's slightly lonely back. He couldn't help but cursed. This father deserves it, but he is a little biased. When Zhu Mo taught them, his eyes fell more on his eldest daughter Zhu Zuyan. Zhu Zuqing was like a foil and didn't pay much attention to her. 
it's no wonder that Zhu Zuyin is 17 years old and in his 40s. His talent is not to say top notch, but it's really good. If nothing else happens, the eldest daughter will definitely be the future Queen Xingla, and it will be difficult for Zhu Zuqing to turn defeat into victory. There is nothing wrong with being biased. In the middle of the journey, everyone stopped for a rest. Chang Xiao took the opportunity to go to the river to fetch water. When he came back, he pinched his stiff cheeks and immediately pretended to be excited and went to Zhu Mo. Senior, I, my elders are probably nearby. I want to find them. Ha! Huh? How did you know? Chang Xiao quickly took out something. I just saw this thing by the river. This is my uncle's thing. Oh? Zhu Mo took it and it turned out to be a Wuhun Palace mercenary token. Suddenly an idea flashed in Zhu Mo's mind, and he seemed to remember something and asked, What is your elder's name? My uncle Dai is Dai Chong, and I am a soul sect. There are seven people in our team. Both parties had introduced themselves before when they were hired, so Cheng Xiao said it without any pause. If the purpose of telling the Wuhun wasn't too obvious, Cheng Xiao wished he could tell Zhu Mo the Wuhuns of Dai Chong and others to increase their credibility. Let's go and look for him. Zhu Mo stood up, not even planning to rest. Then, Zhu Mo spread the crowd out to look for people, and they moved forward at an extremely slow speed. After a while, the people who had dispersed came back one after another, shaking their heads to express that they had not found it. Suddenly someone came back and went directly to Zhu Mo and whispered a few words. Really? Zhu Mo narrowed his eyes. The man bowed and said that he did not dare to speak nonsense. Zhu Mo's eyes fell on Chang Xiao, but he only saw Chang Xiao's expectant look on his face, his brows furrowed, and he pursed his lips and said, lead the way. Senior, have you found my elders? Chang Xiao pretended to be surprised. Zhu Mo was silent. Under the leadership of that person, the route was no longer aimless, but headed straight in the direction where Chang Xiao had previously ambushed Dai Chong and others. The closer he got, the faster Chang Xiao's heart beat. Success or failure depended on this, but he knew that this was the most critical moment and he couldn't reveal any flaws, so he forced himself to calm down and look excited and eager. It's quite a test of acting skills. Chang Xiao feels that in her previous life, she should have gone to film school. Suddenly, Chang Xiao seemed to feel something. He raised his head and his eyes collided with Zhu Zuqing's cold eyes. The eyes were so straight that Zhu Zuqing didn't look away for a long time. The obsidian eyes were like cat's eyes in the dark, which made Chang Xiao feel uncomfortable. He was terrified. For some reason, Chang Xiao's heart trembled, and he had a ridiculous feeling that this girl has seen through it. He was so worried that he didn't dare to look at each other anymore, and looked away as if nothing had happened. Calm down, calm down. She has an ice face. It's impossible to see through her. Chang Xiao kept comforting himself and put the piercing eyes out of his mind. When we finally arrived at the place, what we saw was a mess. Several corpses could hardly be seen intact. The body of the crystal bear was gone. Chang Xiao held his breath and was overjoyed. It's time to show off your acting skills. Chang Xiao's face turned pale as if he had been struck by lightning. He staggered onto a bitten and mutilated corpse, tears bursting at the drop of a hat, and then the sound of wailing resounded through the forest. Uncle Chi, you died so miserably. A person came to Zhu Mo and respectfully handed the collected items to Zhu Mo. The mercenaries registered in Wuhun Palace, the captain is Dai Chong, and the identities of the other people are. They should have been set up by someone, and there are still people to cover up. Dao, it looks like he is a veteran of blackmail. Have you found it? Zhu Mo's eyes were as bright as lightning. The man shook his head. No, there is a corpse whose right arm is missing. Criminals will return to the crime scene after the incident. Chang Xiao did return, but he came to collect the body as a family member. This was really hard for him, so he tried his best to bring tears to his eyes, and lay on the body and cried loudly. On the other side, Zhu Mo frowned, his eyes fell on Chang Xiao, but he looked back and asked in a deep voice, Are you sure? Have you searched carefully? Chief Wei, we have indeed searched. One of them has his arm broken at the shoulder level and is missing. The servant paused and then whispered, Perhaps someone knew that he had a soul bone and was set up. Maybe. Although most of the seven people's fatal injuries were caused by soul beasts, they all had last-minute wounds. The angle of entry of the knife was extremely harsh. It was obviously the work of a veteran of murder and robbery. Moreover, they had observed the decomposition of the corpses, and the time of death of several people should have been within one day. Zhu Mo was silent for a while, and finally sighed softly. He didn't let the young man leave, and his thoughts were very subtle. Part of it was due to doubts in the heart and doubts about the young man's words, but more of it was due to greed and coveting the soul bone. It was just that it was not easy to instill this in his daughter, so he used pity to cover it up. He thought he would get a soul bone today. Although he was not old enough to use it himself, 
the soul bone skills were not bad, so it was just right for his two daughters. It's a pity that despite all the calculations, I didn't expect that someone would get there first. Well, Zhu Mo sighed. Maybe it was God's will. He looked at Zhu Zuching, who was independent and cold as ice. If he gave this soul bone to Zhu Qing, it might give her a little hope. If she changes her temper, she would not be so young, just lifeless. Okay, take that kid with you and get ready to leave. Zhu Menyu pursed his lips. Yes. Just for a moment, in order to squeeze out a few tears, Chang Xiao thought about all the sad things in the past 11 years plus his whole life. For example, he had a friend who licked his first love for several years without even touching it with his hands. I went to the hotel a few days after being pried away. Anyway, he was quite sad for his friend. Why hasn't anyone come to persuade me yet? I can't stand it any longer. Cheng Xiao couldn't think of any more tear-jerking scenes, and Cheng Xiao was beginning to feel anxious. Suddenly, a chill ran down Cheng Xiao's spine for some reason. He didn't know why, so he looked up while wiping the corners of his eyes, only to look directly at Zhu Zuqing who was leaning against the tree. Zhu Zuqing looked indifferent, looking straight at Cheng Xiao with an indescribable sharpness and indifference in his eyes, as if he was watching Chang Xiao's poor acting skills. Chang Xiao choked up when she saw him and held back his tears. He couldn't tell what was going on, could he? He quickly lowered his head and continued howling, but he couldn't hold back a few tears, so he just howled at the top of his lungs. Can you please stop looking? Sensing Zhu Zuqing's gaze that was still looking away, Chang Xiao couldn't help but curse inwardly. Is this woman a cat? Are your eyes so scary? It's as if he can see through people's minds. Fortunately, this situation did not last long, and someone found him at Zumo's signal. Hey kid, stop howling. Pack up and get ready to leave. Chang Xiao choked, sniffed and said, but, I haven't collected the bones of my parents yet. Zumo frowned. He was so patient before just for the sake of his soul bones. Now that he has lost his soul bones, he has lost interest. You can't just wait for the kid to collect the corpses here, right? How long do you have to wait? He still had to help Zhu Zuyin find a suitable soul beast, but he didn't have time to waste time here. Since you have become a soul master, life and death are commonplace. This is the Star Doe Forest. You are bringing a pile of broken corpses. The smell of blood will attract the soul beasts. Don't bring us with you if you are looking for death. The servant waved his hand impatiently. Hurry, we don't have time to wait for you. How could Chang Xiao agree so easily? He had long wanted to take the opportunity to separate from them. Wouldn't it be nice if he didn't want to take me with him? I won't. If you want to leave, you can go. Chang Xiao shook his head quickly. You kid, you don't listen to advice, do you? The servant glared at him fiercely, if you don't. Chang Xiao ignored him, walked straight to Zhu Mo, cupped his hands and said, Senior, thank you very much for your protection today. It's just that my uncle has protected me since I was a child, and I don't want to let them expose their bodies in the wilderness. It's better to say goodbye. Although this place is dangerous, even if I die here, I will collect the bones for them. I hope my seniors will do it. Zhu Mo's patience had run out and he was too lazy to say anything more. Seeing Chang Xiao's determination, he waved his hand. Since you insist on this, we can't persuade you. You should be more careful. Hearing this, Chang Xiao was just filled with joy when suddenly, a roar sounded in the forest. Roar. The scarred giant bear tore open the giant tree blocking the road and appeared in front of everyone. A pair of scarlet bear eyes stared at Chang Xiao. The ferocious bear spit out fishy smell from its mouth and its chest heaved, as if it was extremely angry. The dreadclaw bear rushed toward Chang Xiao with its ferocious power. Although the giant bear was bulky, it ran extremely fast and was close to everyone in the blink of an eye. Is it this crazy bear again? Zhu Mo frowned, his mood was already a little bad due to the soul bone, but now that he saw this crazy terror claw bear, a burst of unknown anger arose in his heart. You go first. Zhu Mo grabbed Chang Xiao's collar and threw it back. Then eight soul rings appeared at his feet, and the dark civet civet attached to his body. He asked everyone to leave first. This bear would be troublesome if it went crazy. The two daughters might be injured in a fight. Here, do you want to disrupt the situation now? Chang Xiao was furious. He had been singing for so long just to be separated from these people. Finally, we got to the end, only to be disturbed by a bear. No, I won't leave. I want to collect the body. Chang Xiao bit him to death and refused to leave. HMPH. If you want to die, just stay. At this moment, no one could persuade him. Since this kid wants to die, let him go. Chang Xiao breathed a sigh of relief, finally able to get rid of them. Walk. A cold voice suddenly sounded, and a black shadow flashed in front of his eyes, trying to grab him and run away together. Chang Xiao's quick eyes grabbed the grabbing hand and tried to avoid it. Um? Just as their fingers touched, they seemed to feel something. 
They raised their heads at the same time, with a look of disbelief on their faces. The two pairs of eyes looked at each other full of surprise and doubt. Boom. Zhu Mo and the Dire Claw Bear were in a head to head fight. The Dire Claw Bear was knocked back by one of his moves. Several scars appeared on his body and blood spilled. However, this did not frighten the Dire Claw Bear in the slightest. Instead, it aroused his ferocity. Shane rushed over without fear of death. You're really thick skinned. Zhu Mo sneered, and with a glance from the corner of his eye, he saw Zhu Zhu Ching and the boy stunned on the spot, and immediately shouted, What are you doing standing there? Leave quickly. Let's go. Zhu Zhu Ching couldn't help but grabbed Chang Xiao with his backhand and led him away. Chang Xiao frowned, hesitated, and let him be taken away. Seventh Soul Skill Civet True Body. Zhu Mo stamped his feet and instantly transformed into a huge ghost civet. The civet was quite ferocious. It grinned and exhaled. In a flash, it passed by the Dire Claw Bear. In an instant, two ferocious claw marks appeared on the Dire Claw Bear. A claw mark was on the chest, directly tearing the strong defense into pieces, exposing the ribs, and even the beating heart could be seen in the cracks of the ribs. The other was on its hind legs, tearing apart its steel hard muscles. Crack. Although the Terror Claw Bear was so fierce that even the 10,000 year soul beast dared to fight when it went crazy, it still couldn't withstand Contra's blow. Roar. The Dreadclaw Bear roared sadly and fell to the ground helplessly. The Nether Civet Cat disappeared, and Zumo's figure reappeared. He glanced at the Dire Claw Bear struggling on the ground, and quickly caught up with Cheng Xiao and Zhu Zuching who were lagging behind. Seeing the two holding hands, Zhu Mo couldn't help but frown, but he didn't express dissatisfaction in the situation. Forcibly separating the two, Zhu Mo held one in each hand and quickly caught up with the people in front. The Dire Claw Bear behind him still wanted to get up, but fell down again due to the weakness of its hind legs. Seeing the people fleeing quickly, he could only rage helplessly from behind. Dad! Why don't you kill that crazy bear? Zhu Zuyin vented his dissatisfaction after being out of the pursuit range of the Terror Claw Bear. Zhu Mo shook his head. It won't live long. His blow had seriously injured him. In this dangerous Star Doe forest, no matter how fierce the Terror Claw Bear was, he would inevitably be targeted by other spirit beasts. He didn't want to fight with it. After being in the army for a long time, he knew how terrifying the potential that exploded when he was about to die was. He already had a hidden disease. If he really cornered the crazy bear, he would do something. If he self-destructs before he dies, causing a hidden illness, and the Star Luo Empire knows about it, then the Zhu family will be left passive. Moreover, the Dreadclaw Bear was only 3,000 years old, so it was not suitable for Zhu Zuyin. He could only kill it to find out if it had any soul bones. But the chance of a soul bone is so small, and the effort is not directly proportional to the reward. It is better to continue bleeding like now and let him die at the hands of other soul beasts. After getting the soul ring for Zhu Zuyin, he can collect the corpse and look for the soul when he returns tomorrow. The bones are good. Anyway, soul beasts won't eat soul bones. Chang Xiao's body was shaken. Will he live long? Wouldn't that be an uncontrollable greed growing from the bottom of my heart? The soul ring of a 3,000-year-old Dreadclaw Bear, or the shadow of a 3,000-year Dreadclaw Bear. This temptation made Chang Xiao's heart flutter. Thank you, Senior, for protecting me. But now that my elder has passed away, the younger generation has not even had time to restrain their corpses. I am so sad that it is inconvenient for me to go with my senior. It is better to just say goodbye. Cheng Xiao said with a cupped hand. Zhu Mo raised his eyes, feeling a little dissatisfied. He was already in a bad mood, and this kid would cause trouble for himself at such a time. Yu, just as he was about to speak, Zhu Zhu Qing, who was silent at the side, suddenly stood up and said, I want to go back. Go back? Zhu Mo was annoyed. It's here soon and you said you want to go back? I brought you out this time to let you learn more about how to distinguish the year of the soul beast and to watch your sister absorb the soul ring. This is what my Zhu family has tried for many years. The best soul ring choice out there, you. I've memorized the best soul ring combinations a long time ago. As for how to tell the year, I probably don't have to worry about it. Zhu Zhu Qing said coldly, I don't think I will live until then. Zhu Mo was speechless and his face was extremely ugly. What Zhu Zhu Qing said bloodily tore apart the family rules, making it difficult for him to answer. Why did he ever want such rules? After all, he was also the father of two daughters. How could he bear to watch his two daughters kill each other? It's a pity that Zhu Mo can't abolish this rule. Dad, just let her go. She is a burden anyway. Zhu Zhu Yin sneered and glanced sideways at Zhu Zhu Qing. She couldn't stand Zhu Zhu Qing's dead face, as if the whole world owed her something. Go, go, go. Feeling irritated, Zhu Mo waved his hand impatiently and pointed at the two of them casually. 
You, and you, send her back. Yes. Zhu Zuching turned around and left without any hesitation, and the two servants immediately followed him. Aren't you leaving? Passing by Chang Xiao, Zhu Zuching suddenly stopped without warning. Chang Xiao pointed at himself, full of questions. Together, we're safe. Zhu Zuching's words were very concise and clear, as if he didn't want to say another word. Walk. As soon as he dozed off, someone gave him a pillow. Chang Xiao was overjoyed. Compared with a contra, it is easier for a little girl and two servants to get out of trouble. Looking at the backs of the four people leaving, Zhu Zuyin curled his lips, looked at Zhu Mo, and said jokingly, That girl didn't learn anything else, but Dad, you learned a lot about your bad kindness. Stop saying a few words. Zhu Mo glared at her angrily, but did not criticize her harshly. Giggle. Zhu Zuyin hugged Zhu Mo's arm with a smile, Dad, don't be angry, don't worry, I will persuade Weiss to spare that girl's life in the future. Following an ice sculpture, Chang Xiao could feel an incomprehensible chill in the air even while sitting next to the fire. However, considering the Zhu family and Dai family's inheritance method of cultivating Gu, it is understandable to develop this habit at a young age. As night falls, we will be able to completely leave the Star Do Forest tomorrow. But Chang Xiao didn't want to leave just now. There was no doubt about the power of the Dire Claw Bear. Even if he couldn't get its spirit ring, he wanted to try to summon its shadow to work for him. You know, if a 3,000-year-old terror claw bear fights tooth and nail, it can rival a 10,000-year-old soul beast. To deal with a 10,000-year-old soul beast, it would take at least a six-ring soul emperor to have a chance. 3,000 years is the limit for him to summon shadows, but he has the opportunity to increase his upper limit of strength. Together with the other 14 shadow soul beasts, he is not afraid of the powerful soul emperor. This kind of good thing is extremely rare to come across, and he can't help but be moved. The flickering light of the fire reflected Chang Xiao's changing thoughts. How to get out? We have to do it tonight. Otherwise it will be too late if we wait until tomorrow. His eyes quietly moved around the three of them. What's your name? Suddenly, a voice without any warmth sounded. Chang Xiao rolled his eyes. I won't change my name when I'm walking, and I won't change my surname when I sit down. My name is Tang San. When you go out, be careful. He didn't think his lie was perfect. If Zumo realized something was wrong and followed the name, he would be greeted by the youngest titled Du Luo Tang Hao. Martial spirit? Zhu Zuching didn't mean to introduce himself, but seemed to be questioning him. Chang Xiao was a little helpless. He had used soul skills before, and even if he said it was blue silver grass, no one would believe it. Inconvenient. Zhu Zuching frowned, but was not annoyed. Do you know the martial soul fusion technique? Chang Xiao nodded. I've heard a little bit about it. The prerequisite for performing martial soul fusion skills is martial soul sensing. Zhu Zuching's words were faint, but he did not continue, but stared at Chang Xiao. Chang Xiao's heart moved, could it be? What the hell? In the night, Chang Xiao quickly shuttled back and forth, recalling the conversation with Zhu Zuching. A sneer appeared on the corner of his mouth. He did not feel that he had any martial soul connection with Zhu Zuching. Chang Xiao knows very well what his martial spirit is like. What kind of martial spirit dares to be on the same level as him? There is no precedent for the Shadow King and the Destruction King, but they are definitely god-level spirits. The one who can sense martial souls with him must be at least the level of Silver Dragon King, right? It's just a ghost civet, and it's like a ghost if it senses a martial soul. When he felt the inexplicable meaning in Zhu Zuching's eyes, Cheng Xiao vaguely guessed that something might have gone wrong that caused Zhu Zuching to misunderstand. Therefore, after Zhu Zuching proposed martial soul induction, Chang Xiao quietly probed. How do you know about martial soul induction? Have you felt it before? I also know it from the books passed down by my family. I have never felt it before. Zhu Zuching shook her head, her eyes a little confused. She awakened her martial soul when she was six years old, but within two years, Dai Mubai left the Star Luo Empire. Due to royal rules, she only met Dai Mubai a handful of times, and did not have time to try the martial soul fusion technique. Therefore, her understanding of martial soul fusion skills and martial soul sensing was still on paper. According to records, martial souls are two people who have a very high degree of compatibility. When they touch, their minds will be synchronized at a certain moment, and they will feel the throbbing from the martial souls. At this point, Zhu Zuching said no more. She felt that Cheng Xiao should be able to understand what she meant. There were two servants beside her, so she could not say any more. Cheng Xiao suddenly realized that this was the case. He understood what Zhu Zuching was alluding to. But he was unmoved, because the moment he came into contact with Zhu Zuching, he didn't feel a trace of martial soul throbbing at all. He was just surprised that Zhu Zuching, a cold girl, 
was kind enough to save him, but he didn't expect Zhu Zuqing to misunderstand her. As for Zhu Zuqing's feeling, Cheng Xiao thinks it is very possible that it is because at the moment of contact, his martial soul shadow king or destruction king gave the nether civet some kind of shock, causing its martial soul to have a strange throbbing. Just because Zhu Zuqing had never experienced real martial soul induction, he mistook it for martial soul induction. But all this is Cheng Xiao's guess. As for the real situation, Cheng Xiao doesn't care or care. On the contrary, he can use this to achieve his own purpose. Therefore, in the subsequent conversation, Cheng Xiao intentionally or unintentionally led the topic to family and loyalty. It was rare for Zhu Zuqing to communicate so much with others. In the past, she spoke very little, but when she met someone who seemed to have a martial soul connection with her, she felt that she should not give up, so she spoke more. No matter how mature Zhu Zuqing is, he is still only 10 years old, so under the guidance of Cheng Xiao intentionally or unintentionally, he finally bit his lips, hesitated for a long time, and a rare blush appeared on his cold white cheeks, and proposed to Cheng Xiao. Since you have no one at home, why not follow me back to the Star Luo Empire and be loyal to Zhu? How about being loyal to me? Dai Mubai's leaving without saying goodbye made her despair for a while. Without martial soul fusion skills, there was no way she could fight against Zhu Zuyan alone. Now a replacement candidate has appeared. If he can really perform martial soul fusion skills, he may become her life-saving trump card in the future. Zhu Zuqing did not say that she was loyal to the Zhu family, but offered to be loyal to herself, in order to make the young man in front of her belong to her alone. Otherwise, she is just loyal to the Zhu family. When she fights Zhu Zuyan, it is hard to say where the young man stands. The corners of Chang Xiao's mouth twitched, and he was really not reserved. He pretended to hesitate, and after Zhu Zuqing proposed the treatment of the Zhu family, he nodded. Okay. Suddenly, a smile of surprise appeared on Zhu Zuqing's frosty cheeks, as if the sunlight penetrated the clouds and melted the ice and snow. The two servants were lost for a moment, as if they were fascinated by the beauty on display, but they woke up the next moment, with a trace of disbelief on their faces. They actually saw a smile on the second lady's face? Isn't it just the loyalty of a brat? What's going on with this kid? The two servants looked at each other and looked like they had to turn around and tell the clan leader the news. After Chang Xiao agreed to be loyal, the few people became less wary and estranged. With Chang Xiao's deliberate approach, the two servants also had a good impression of him. Late at night, Chang Xiao offered to take on the duty of keeping vigil. Seeing that Chang Xiao was so sensible, the two servants felt a little embarrassed and hesitated whether to tell the clan leader. He patted Chang Xiao on the shoulder and said that from now on in the zoo mansion, they would protect Chang Xiao. Anyone who didn't open their eyes would come to them for support, and then the two of them got into the tent. After the two of them fell asleep, Chang Xiao tested it out and found that none of the three people made any movement. Chang Xiao quietly retreated. After being far away from the camp, he ran towards the dire claw bear. As for allegiance, he threw it all out the window. He doesn't have any psychological burden at all about deceiving a little girl. In his previous life, he deceived little girls into having their first kiss since he was three years old. Where is he now? I hope it's not too late. Chang Xiao released 14 soul beasts to clear the way and rushed towards the target quickly. When Chang Xiao arrived, he did not see the body of the dire claw bear. No way? Are you late? Chang Xiao sighed. Searching with his eyes, he saw heavy drag marks on the ground. Chang Xiao quickly followed the marks and looked for them. Not far away, Chang Xiao smelled a strong smell of blood. After walking for dozens of steps, I pushed aside the bushes, and suddenly I saw the broken corpses of soul beasts. Hiss, so many. Looking past the many corpses, I saw the dreadclaw bear lying on the ground dying. In addition to the injuries caused by Zhu Mo, there were many soul beast bites on his body, which were obviously caused by the soul beasts attracted by the smell of blood. It's a pity that none of these spirit beasts can fight, not even the seriously injured dreadclaw bear. In the end, they were all killed by the dreadclaw bear. Tisk, tisk. The ferocity of the dreadclaw bear made Chang Xiao speechless. As if hearing the noise, the direclaw bear's ears twitched and its nose twitched. The direclaw bear, which was already on the verge of death, suddenly stood up and roared as if it was coming back to life. Its fierce eyes suddenly shot towards Chang Xiao. Roar. The direclaw bear stood up but fell down due to the weakness of its hind legs. However, it still roared and crawled toward Chang Xiao on three legs. It looked as ferocious as if it wanted to eat Chang Xiao alive. What's going on? It was the same before, and it's the same this time. It's just about me, right? Chang Xiao saw the direclaw bear staring into his eyes, and his mind was full of confusion. When the dreadclaw bear stood up and revealed the crystal bear body hidden in the lair behind it, Chang Xiao suddenly realized. 
These two guys are partners. Seeing the Dreadclaw Bear jumping and attacking, Chang Xiao grinned, showing his white teeth. He waved his hand, and the fourteen spirit beasts were like evil ghosts crawling out of hell, protecting Chang Xiao in the middle. And at the front is the Crystal Bear. This is Chang Xiao's bad taste. Since we are a family, we should be neat and tidy.